Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to pair your Sony smartwatch with your Android device. Um, when you first get your uh, smartwatch, you're going to want to plug it in and let it charge for at least two hours to make sure it's got a full charge. Um, once you've done this, um, what you're going to do is first turn it on. It'll vibrate, letting you know. And it'll put it in sync mode. Uh, once that's in sync mode, you can come over to your phone. And you're going to want to go to your um, settings and then wireless and networks. Turn on your Bluetooth. Because Bluetooth is how the watch talks to your Android phone and vice versa. Go to your Bluetooth settings. And you're going to scan for devices. Now once it scans and actually finds this, you'll get a notification here, and you'll select it to pair. Once it pairs, you're going to get these windows. You're going to want to go ahead and confirm them both. Now when you get to this point, you need to turn the smartwatch off, hold the power button until it vibrates, and you see Sony it's now off. You can exit back out of this stuff. Now you're going to hold down the power button until it vibrates to turn back on. Might have done that too quick. Oh, almost skipped a step. Next you're going to want to uh, go to the Android market and you're going to want to search for Live Liveware, which is the software that actually lets these two talk, hence the didn't do anything. Um, so then you're going to do Liveware Manager. Go ahead and install that. Okay, once it's installed, you're going to want to run it, whether you do it from notification or in your app drawer, it doesn't really matter. Um, run Liveware Manager. And here you do not see this yet. So you're going to want to turn your watch back on. Once you turn the watch on, it'll pop up in your list and you'll get a confirmation. Um, this is the app, it's going to do the uh, smartwatch application. You can just hit continue. This is what will actually talk to your phone through the Liveware Manager. So go ahead and install it. Okay, now you're connected. <clears throat> and there you go. You're now connected to your phone. Um, so what you're going to want to do next is you can actually set the phone down. Um, now here it says no applications in smartwatch. You can double tap and it goes back to your clock. Your clock should be synced with the clock on your phone, 207, date and all. Um, <clears throat> now, installing applications, see right now there's no applications on it, so we're, we're pretty much just a watch. So what you're going to need to do is come back to your phone. You can open up, uh, you can click on the notification bar where it says you're connected to the smartwatch, and you can select apps here. These apps, um, you know, like you can connect to your messaging so you can read your text messages, you can see your calendar reminders, um, call handling. If you get a phone call and you have an earpiece in or whatever, you can answer it here, hang up here. Um, so there's a weather app. So we'll go ahead and grab the weather app. Now everything installs on your phone. Um, and we'll go ahead and grab call handling. Okay, let's make sure they've. Okay. So now we'll set the phone down. Now, when you turn this on, when you tap, you'll see your these are the widgets so this is the weather widget 
Now the weather widget, of course, you have to tap there to actually tell it what to do, but when you scan sideways, you'll get more widgets as you get them on here. If you scan up, you actually go to the apps themselves. So, there, there. Call handling, what that'll do is it'll automatically notify you when somebody's calling, you know, doing different, you know, basically if you have your phone in your pocket, you can hang up on somebody right here, or you can answer it and then pull the phone out of your pocket. Um, two fingers, goes back, back again, and that's it. You're all set up. Uh, good luck. If you have any questions, uh, you can go to androidadvice.com. Um, it's android-advice.com. Good luck.